The status quo is not working for us. Look, just here in Wisconsin, we are a manufacturing state. There are more jobs per capita tied to manufacturing in this state than any other state in the country. And we've lost a lot of manufacturing jobs. Heck, right here in southern Wisconsin, we lost four auto factories, two Delphi plants in Oak Creek. We lost the Kenosha Chrysler engine plant. We lost the Janesville GM plant. Everybody wants a strong and vibrant auto sector. We want a strong manufacturing sector. But today you might have heard that Joe Biden again was at it again. <laughs> today he was talking about the government bailout, which they keep touting as an unqualified success story. I tell you what, ask those salaried Delphi workers in Oak Creek if they feel like it was a success story. Ask the Chrysler Kenosha engine people if they think that this was a success story. The facts, they speak for themselves. President Obama took GM and Chrysler into bankruptcy. Taxpayers still stand to lose $25 billion from the president's politically managed bankruptcy. These companies, Chrysler in particular, we know this story, are now choosing to expand manufacturing overseas. These are the facts. Those facts are inconvenient for the president, but no one disputes them. The president and the vice president, the problem is they simply can't defend their record. We have lost 610,000 manufacturing jobs since the president took office alone. 38,000 manufacturing jobs we've lost in America in two months, the last two months. 10,000 of those jobs came from the auto sector.